So we'll try and get it at the first break. Well, we've got some quarter time scores. I can't wait any longer to get that though. Oh, some surprising gee. results here at the present time. But the ball thrown up, start the second quarter here at Richmond Crescent. The ball picked up there by Ricky O'Toole coming through the middle of the ground, kick forward. And it goes forward to Belpost Hill. Holfine reads the ball well. Scrums the pack. Looks for runners from behind. Doesn't have him there. Picked up by Perrot of East Geelong. He actually dropped the ball. Now umpire says now he hasn't got it. And he's going to be awarded the free kick. So Perrot has the ball in the back. Or sorry, half back line for the East Geelong side. Kicks the ball out towards centre wing. Leaning out there is Tate. Moving Slides well. in. Big fella takes the mark in front of Symes. So now Tate... Plays on, swings the ball back inside, goes towards centre-half forward position. McNamara, someone's got hold. Their freak is going to go to Kloster this time. He's in front of the contest. So Kloster has the mark. Actually, the free kick went to Jennings. I was looking at Kloster, so I don't know where that was. But anyway, so Jennings, no one stands the mark. Plays on, kicks the ball long. It wasn't a good Ordinary kick. It's going to be favoured there because Ryan Coy has read that well off the boot. And he takes the mark in the forward pocket. So the ball's gone forward quickly. Very ordinary kick. O'Hara's trying to sneak down there. O'Toole's behind. So Hardest from the kick pocket, on this ground too, I banana reckon. Banana kick goes up. I'll tell you what, I think he likes it. He <laughs> umpires there for the goal. And Ryan Coy has kicked the two. Now, I hope you heard that right. <laughs> lead North Geelong, who are three goals, one. Anarchy, 2-2. Two, two, lead Bannock, sorry, Trail Bannockburn, 4-1. And Thompson, 3-2. Winchelsea, seven goals, five. So the ball back in the middle of the ground now. Langsworth wrapped up. Very scrappy stuff, as we said. A bit of a mud in the middle of the ground now with the rain falling, not helping. But East Geelong moved the ball freely now through Cameron, who sends it forward. Coming back is Jennings, oh. but a great mark. Fantastic mark taken there by Kloster, was it? Yep. Who moves on quickly. Oh, great kick. And the kick is just as good and finds Sean O'Leary. About 35 metres out, directly in front. Kloster's really stamped himself upon this game, hasn't that he? That was a great, the, great grab by Kloster then. And what about the kick? Uh, it's impossible to defend something that, that's yep. so low and uh, so direct. Still shaking here from the, that news of uh, Geelong West, but uh, in comes O'Leary. And East Geelong are just starting to work their way back into this game as O'Leary... Two, five goals, three, 33. They trail Belpo's Hill, who are still six I surprise. think Al's made a mistake. That's what I reckon. I think there's going to be egg on your face, oh. Cal. Oh, I would never you, go against the word of Alan Moore. Moore. So the ball back in the middle. Symes up over the top. Taps the ball down. Picked up there by Moore. And he kicks the ball back towards centre-half forward. Martin's now going to lead in the race for the ball. Picks it up. Handball goes back to Fersland in clear space. Chips the ball forward. And Lewis oh. pushing forward. Plays Man. on. Oh. And he kicks the goal. <laughs> Jordan Lewis. He will be enjoying his time on the ground, but I think... Berkey, that's, that's the thing, mate. But he wouldn't be wrong. I must, must, might, might be this bloke at the end here listening to the score. So the ball back in the middle of the ground. Tate wins the ruck hit out. Furzland kicks it off the ground. Works pretty well for him too, because Pyle picks it up and wheels it around the corner. A few knock-ons here. Some intuitive knock-ons by Belt who still plays. has landed in the hands of Holzfein, who sent it to Giovanni. Probably could have got a free kick, but not paid. And the ball has been dribbled towards the boundary line by East Geelong. So the... Ball tossed back in a plate. Tate and Symes go at it. First to meet it will be Pyle. Can't quite get an effective disposal though, but the top comes. Parrot comes flying oh. out, taken out by Jovanovic. Ball just goes over for another throw in. We are inside the Belpo Hill attacking 50 now. So as we said, they're two goals up on East Long Cal. That's right. We would have gone about five minutes into this second quarter. So the ball on the half forward line. It's again this time. Belpo still on attack. Tate taps the ball over the back. Picked up there. I think it's uh, picked up there by Bowman coming through the contest. A nice clean pick up. Kicks the ball back in the centre. Jenkins is going to arrive first. Collects the ball nicely. Goes on the left foot. Oh. Actually too much carry on there for Fursland. So the wet ball now. Just uh, carry well. But O'Hara does well. Picks the ball up and goes out long. Oh, sorry, Hexley went short. And finds Josh Coy in the half back line. Goes back to O'Hara. Put him under pressure. Good tackle. Fed out in the... The uh, handball. Now there's some pressure on the defence. Thomas oh, no. can't pick the ball up. Ball's tapped forward. Going to end up there with Robinson. It goes towards the boundary line, and the boundary line's going to win out. And it's over. The boundary line will be thrown back into play. Jeez. Jenkins playing a really good game, isn't he? He is. I've always been a fan just because he gives his all. He's not the most talented player, but he gives 100%. So the umpire now on the wing throws it back in. Simons wins the hit out uncontested. He gives it off to Mullen now. In now in the hands of Langsworth, who kicks a grass cutter which is intercepted by Hickey. He can't quite get an effective disposal away. Morland wraps up the East Long player there in Robertson. Pack forms now on the edge of the centre square. Robertson is tackled by 
a number of Palpo Steel players, a couple of them Jamie Pyle and Chris Moore in there, driving him into the turf. Justin Tate just falls over. Umpire, no sympathy, doesn't really wait for him to get back up again. So the throw up comes. Tate still smiles, so it couldn't hurt too much. Knocked down by Symes into the path of Fursland. He can't quite gather the ball though. Ryan Coy tries to do the same, driven in the ground there. Pushing the back for a kick has been paid against Fletcher, and the ball is in the hands now of Bowman. So Ben Bowman moves it on, looking for Robertson, coming back with it is Fursland, but great mark there taken by Robertson. He's had plenty of the football, but his disposal has probably let him down today. And it does then again, because the ball's been intercepted by Pisano on its way to O'Toole, but O'Toole's managed to gather it, dump without the football, and gives Pisano one for measure as well. Probably unlucky not to get a free kick there, Ricky O'Toole, and the umpire's blowing his whistle. Free kick has been spotted. Mm -hmm. Just a bit of nick. So Coy gives it off now to O'Toole, in a familiar position. Moving through the middle of the ground. Kicks it forward, looking for Scrubberlack. Dropping back in, fo in front of it was Gerges, but oh, kicked off the ground by Scrubberlack. <laughs> And no, he's yeah. just missed. I thought he'd done that. He's done it many a time this season, though, Dale. We won. We've gone about 10 minutes. Second quarter. Victory Toby scoreboard. So the ball now with Gregor gets full back. Kicks the ball short. Numbers there with Bellpost Hill. Lewis takes the mark. So ball still just inside the uh, defensive 50. Goes out wide now. First is going to be the target. Again, right. mark has been taken. So he now has the ball. On the half-back line, I'll just pull a set of wings for them. Kicks the ball into the centre of the ground. Fletcher's run way and long, but pr coming the other way was Bowman. Fletcher recovers first. Handball, I don't know who it was to, but it's picked up by Bowman. He ducks and weaves. Umpire's going to call Ding. him for throwing the ball, holding the ball. So Chris Morland, the recipient of that free kick. So Morland with the ball. Has players stepping back inside, but he decides to go long towards the half-forward line. Going back as holds fine. Doesn't take the mark. Called to play on by the umpire. Picked up there by Spawn. I don't know if he picked the player and the ball up, but he's got both at the moment. And in the forward ball, ruck work. I'm not too sure he's doing there. Doing there. Piles there. He's one of them. Picked up there. I think it was Bowman that went through the other way. He feeds the ball out long. Actually, it was Jennings. Kicks the ball. Goes towards Cameron. Kicks the ball to centre wing. And a good strong mark there by Symes of Bell Post Hill. Young kid can play football. Definitely. Looks back inside. Decides to go wider. Finds Law. Told to play on now. Another short kick coming in. It's not well directed. And chipping in is Jennings. So Jennings with the ball for East Geelong. Crosses across the ground. Dangerous kick, but in the hands of Ricky O'Toole. Fetter runs wide. The kick comes out wider. Goes looking for. And Hickey can't make the ground. Yeah, I keep forgetting him. He's got the shaved head this season. He's lost a long lock. So the umpire now throws it back in on the wing. Attacking side for Balpo still Tate. Gets the kick forward, but the mark isn't taken by O'Hara, but picked up by his opponent there in Fantala. Gives it off to Pisano now. Flying through there was Morlan taking out a number of players, but not ping for it. Basely, with that shaved head, as we said, moves it on quickly, kicks it, looking for Jovanovic on the lead, and he takes a strong mark. He's quick, he can run, he's strong, and he can take a mark. So that's always going to be a lethal combination for a leading forward, and he's going to have another shot at goal. He'll be about 35 metres out. Not much home to me there. That contest, uh, just on the wing there, there seemed to be so many more Balpo's Hill players at the at the ball than, than uh, East Geelong. They all sort of dropping back, and the ball's just going to go over their heads. So Jovanovic now comes in, and the kick looks relatively good. He's happy with it. So Matthew Jovanovic kicks his third goal of the day, which takes Balpo's Hill now. I don't know. Um, so Tate up against negative. Symes again through the middle of the ground. Symes has usually had the jump over the top. Tate this time does well, handles, go the tap to O'Toole to Jennings, who kicks the ball forward. Good body work there by Fletcher off the half back line for Bell Post Hill. Picks it up, goes back on his left side, has support from Lewis. He steps inside. That kick wasn't good. Went straight towards the boundary line. It's going to favour Jennings. He arrives, but the ball and the boundary line see each other pretty quickly there and will be thrown back into play. I suppose Bell Post Hill slightly into attack from the far side of the wing. It's funny, we've been pretty negative about East Long so far, but they're definitely still in the contest. One or two goals can change fairly quickly in this game. So this time it's Morland up over the top. Third man up. Ball goes towards Langworth. Try to tap it towards Law. He's able to go back and collect the ball. Actually, the ball's not going to be picked up and it's going to be throw-ins. So this will be number two. The umpire throws it back in. Tate and Symes go at it once again. Symes wins the hit out. Picked up by Langsworth. He's met by O'Toole. Knocks it out. And the scrappy kick comes forward now. Attacking side for East Geelong. Picked up by Kloster. He gets the handball off now to Cameron. Uh, Robertson, rather, who has a shot at... His cap, uh, coach there in Scrubblack who hits the ground pretty hard. Can't take the mark. Pack forms deep inside. East Geelong's attacking. Just overshot the coach there of the East Geelong Eagles. And he's 
down for the count at the moment. So the umpire throws it up. Silence wins a hit out once again. Lands in the hands now of McNamara, who plays on quickly. Kicks it long to the middle of the ground. 50-50 contest, but of course Simon Primke drifting back as he often does. Takes the mark, plays on quickly. Kick, probably not the best. It's going to be picked up first by Moreland. He's dragged off the football and will get a free kick. Defensive 50 for Balbos Hill. Moves it on quickly, looking for Fletcher. Interception comes there from Kloster. Great effort there from the Eagles forward. But Balpost Hill can recover here through Brent Gergis at centre-half back. He kicks it out wide, looking for a teammate in Langsworth. Handballs over the top. Coming hard at the football there was Lima. Fantala knocks it back out towards Lima now, who can move it on. Scrappy-looking kick, kicked off the ground there by O'Hara. It's going to be picked up now by Coy. So the captain of the Eagles gives it off to Robertson. He goes, just decides to go long, looking for O'Leary, but the number's with Balpost Hill on the mark, taken uncontested there by Brent Gergis. So the ball with Gergich in the fullback position. Symes leads up towards the coach. Good kick. And he takes the mark. Langsworth calling for it on the wing, but he takes two steps and goes back to the centre of the ground. Lewis up over the top of O'Toole. Coy arrives. Picked up now by O'Toole. And the ball comes out in the spillage. Goes back. Tate in front. Good body. Close to arrives. But again, the spoil from behind. Now with Symes. Running plays overall. Kicks out towards centre wing. And the mark has been taken there by Fursland. So again, hands in the air by Langsworth. Probably too far away from the kicker. Needs to lead up towards him. Fursland now tried to be, or was actually asked by the umpire to play on. His short chip goes over the top, goes looking for Lewis, collects on the half volley, spins and turns, another half short kick round the boundary line. Rob Kavka comes up and takes the mark, true centre wing. So on wing, he slows things down now, looking for a player further afield. The long kick comes in, heading towards Jovanovic, and why wouldn't you go to the big fella? Gets over the top, running player required, but it's uh, Thomas there who arrives first. Handball comes out, finds Hickey of East Geelong. He decides to go backwards, looking towards Vetter. Vetter's now with the ball. His oh, kick's all very no. ordinary. Soft the side of the boot. Fletcher for Bell Post Hill there. Kicks around the corner. Made effort there, Mark Vetter. Good. Post Hill will throw the ball back into play. So Harnick and Symes got it. Symes wins the hit out once again. Picked up by Hickey, but he's tackled. O'Toole just cruising through the middle now. He's going to be run down if he's not careful, but he gets his kick away and okay. finds Costa, but free kick not paid. Fletcher picks up the ball, wheels around on that left boot and finds Fantella on centre wing. Outside of the ground. So Adrian Fantella will look to move it on. Does just that. Looking for Kafka, but the mark has been taken by Langsworth. Plays oh, on. No. Dino Hara corrals him. Bit of indecision there from Langsworth, and he wheels around, but it's going to land in the path of Sahanik, who will take the mark in attacking 50 on the half-back flank. So the Eagles Ruckman gives off the handball now to Vetter, who has a bounce. Oh, oh, he's he's wrapped tackle. up by Jovanovic. Tired of those fullbacks don't think too well. <laughs> and Jovanovic will have a free kick now, 35 metres out. He'll have a chance to kick his fourth goal, fifth, yeah, fourth goal of the day. Probably the best player on the ground at this stage, Matthew Jovanovic, but Mark Vetter... He's prone to the old brain fade, and he had one there. He went for the bounce. Don't know whether Giovanni's got a long, long uh, lead quickness in him, but he's those short spurts, mate, when yep. he wants to put his foot down, he's very quick. You saw that there. Mark Vetto just a bit disappointed with his efforts there. Not much he could have done about that. Probably should have given the handball off to his captain there in Ryan Coy, who's standing beside him now, just letting him know about it. So Matthew Jovanovic now, as we said, has kicked three goals. He'll come in. Not much of an angle to speak of. Good players will kick these goals. And he's a good player, but he's missed. <laughs> <laughs> so that takes Bell Post Hill from this distance and is a good kick for goal. So he should go back and line up. So Caleb Basley, probably his first real opportunity at goal for the day. Funny you bring that up, Dale. I was back home in sale two seconds ago. And I was just in my room. Obviously, it's not me, it's my original room. So don't sleep there very very often anymore. Anyway, I was going through the old bookshelf and I found a GDFL record from 2008 and I saw the uh, under-18s leading goal kickers and a few names, familiar names now and the seniors are there. Caleb Basley was one of them. He was a good footballer. Don't worry about that, mate. He was actually a little bit heavier. I think he's got himself pretty fit and that is a great kick That's by why Caleb was Basley. There. So Caleb Basley, he kicks his first goal of the afternoon. Leading the way in the under-18s. So the ball back in the middle of the ground now. Simon's getting nice and high, gets the hit out, but it only as far as Hickey. Kick not too effective. Lands in the hands now of Kyle Robinson, who handballs it on, looking for Jennings. Jennings does well here. Wheels around. Looking for O'Leary. It's going to have a couple of bounces, but O'Leary outsmarts his opponent there in overall and has a shot on goal. And that God, is... got it. That is a fantastic <laughs> goal by Sean O'Leary. Well, three goals in it. They keep it. finding responses, don't they? So this next two or three minutes, very important. The ball back in the middle of the ground. Barton's on doing the ruck work. Oh, nice tap time. out. Goes straight to hold. It's all. And straight down the ground. Finds... Uh, 
Pisano lead up, good handball. Kavka went the uh, banana. Couldn't bring it back far enough. Uh, that was probably the right choice for the bloke. But uh, anyway, Mark Vetter now with the ball. Does the right thing this time. Goes long. Out looking for O'Hara. Mark's not taken from behind. Holes find it for ground level. Picks the ball up. Bring it off the ball. Langsworth dives on it. Feeds it through the legs. Gavka. Oh, oh Pisano's placing him. himself in front. No, one is basically handballs over the top. Javenic runs in. Kicks goal number four. <laughs> Just a bit excessive there. Kelly's booted it into the housing. There's just no one likes those blokes. Yeah. So the ball now back in the middle of the ground. Barton and Sahanik compete, but a free kick's been spotted by the umpire from the other end of the ground, so not the central umpire. He spotted one off the ball, and it's going the way of Spawner, who gives it off now. Ball has been moved quickly by Cameron. Great mark taken by Scrubblack, who's back on the ground now after his uh, fall. He moves it out wide, looking for Robertson. Probably not the smartest kick there, but it's going to land in the hands of O'Leary, who handballs over the top of his head. But Balpo still have the numbers here. If they can get a decisive disposal away, they should be away. But they can't do that. They're away. But the ball now thrown back into play. Scroblack does the ruck work. Taps it down. Finds Robinson now to Cameron. Just plants it on the boot. Goes back towards the goal square. In front, Gergic. Hickey spoils. Picked up by Kloster. Kick spoiled. Ends up there with Coy. He's taken off the ball. Picked up there by Lima. Lima goes wide to overall. His handball hasn't got enough carry on it. And Brent Gergic is going back uncontested every time. Well, that's what happens. Scrob puts himself in the ruck and then Gergic just puts himself back and then... So the ball's played in there, tapped over the back again in the hands of Robertson. Went looking for Coy, finds him. Feed the ball back to Jennings. They're under pressure. Good That's tackle ball. there from Fletcher. Ball comes out. Advantage is now played, so it's in the hands of Law. Goes to Morland, steps back inside and he's left if he wants to use it. But he's going to. Yes, he is. Nice looking kick going forward, but Lachlan there. He takes the mark at centre half back. Transfers play to broadcast side wing. Picked up there by O'Hara. He just lopes along. Takes one bounce. Kick was bloody ordinary. And now <laughs> Goes to the half forward line, makes Kloss to work for it. And it's going to be ball up He's there. Gone. Don't. He's oh, gone. Umpire's got the legs spread, so you're in trouble, son. It's over there, it's going to go back towards overall. Stella has the ball, told the to play on by the umpire now. So now he has to kick, kicks back into the centre of the ground. Mark required, Barton's there in front. Big Good fella grab. puts his hands oh. up and he takes the mark. Taylor's just knocked out his own play. Needs to take those marks, Barton, so he, and he did. So he plays on now, kicks ordinary though. Scrobblack is going to be paid the mark. Had a couple of bites at it. Is it just me or is this game turning into a game of soccer at the moment? Both ends are playing in their own half and just attacking in, in thrust. So Tate now takes the mark at centre half forward from the kick from Scrubblack. He's played on here. He's completing with the umpire to let him go back, but he won't let him do that. And the kick's ordinary, but it's been picked up by Robertson, as we said, has had plenty of the football for East Geelong. Jennings leading Holsfine to the football, but Holsfine does well. He's wrapped up. They want a free kick here, the Eagles, Ooh. and they're going to get one. <laughs> Position, he's going to looks to go long. Talk about the flood. But who to? It's a three-on-one situation. Kloster can't do it all himself, and the scraps have been picked up by McNamara. It looks like he yep. moves it on to Basley. Defensive side of the wing. He's got Langsworth running behind him, but he elects to go forward. Oh, Martin clearly pushed off the football that. there. By Drew Lachlan, so the free kick will land in the hands of Brad Martin, who, as we said, he's playing centre-half forward today in a different role to what we're familiar with. So Martin now on centre wing, kicks the ball, but oh. Primke going back with the flight, takes Classic. the mark, which he does every day of the week, so I don't know what Brad Martin was thinking there. But Simon Primke will go back on the half-back flank. He's going to kick forward, looking for the coach and scrub lap, but coming back is Martin to intercept, and the ball is back where it was just before. So Basher, Martin has the ball, centre wing, kicks the ball in towards centre half forward, goes looking for Basley in front there, Scr Sponner, ball's in the hands of Basley again, picked up there and kicked forward by Law, back to the goal square, trouble here, because Mark Fed has taken his eyes off the ball and now he's going to get a 50 metre penalty I would think, be right back on the goal line. No, the umpire says that's okay. So Jovanovic now has the ball at about uh, 15 metres out, almost directly in front. Been an incident behind Playboys between Aaron Langsworth and Adam Scrobelak, and I think the umpire is just having a few words. I don't know if the books come out, but no. Scrobelak was pleading a fair bit of innocence afterwards, and he just knowing the big fella, well, he, he said it in a way it looked pretty genuine. And but Langsworth wasn't happy, so it'd be interesting to see if anything's made of that. But 
Belpo still crowded, he's giving him plenty. With Jovanovic. He's only about 20 metres out, almost directly in front, or is directly in front. Lines up, goes back and kicks his uh, fifth goal. He's done it before. And that's 11 goals, five now to a bell post till they lead East Geelong six goals, four. And we've got back in the middle of the ground, thrown yeah. up this time by Tate and also Martin. I'm sorry, uh, Barton, I should say. I said Martin was Barton. They were lined on each other in there. And Burslin and O'Hara out here now. <laughs> so they have a bit of a push and a shove. So we could see a replay of the grand final. It's not, we're not too uh, far away from it. Ball picked up now through the middle of the ground. I think it's Jennings that was coming through. He's tackled. He's definitely got no chance of getting into that ball. Some good pressure in there. So both sides not prepared to relinquish any ground whatsoever at this Just stage. Just starting to heat up, isn't it, Dale? Yes, it will. Few, I think it will. A few niggles around the ground. It's now by a massive throw up there. Sean Lewis is going to end up with a footy. Hacks it forward. Trying to use the body. Was Hollis one, but did it unsuccessfully. As Bowman keeps going, but the numbers once again with Balpo still basically oh. gives it off to Hollis Fine, who moves it on quickly. Looking for his teammate in Rob Law, but he can't quite pick it up, and the ball is annoying me. So ball, half forward line, thrown back into play. Fursland knocks the ball back into the field of play, in towards the centre half forward position. Spawner goes back to collect it. Free kick. There's an umpire who's given it to against Robbie Law for a hold. He's going to be asked to come back over the mark. So spawn up. Now has the ball. He's not going to come back far enough, so he's going to have to go back and do it all over again. Umpire's calling the ball back. Unfortunately, out in the far side, Cameron hasn't heard for the East Geelong side. Robbie Law standing to mark. He plays on now. Crosses over. Goes to the club room side of the ground. Goes looking for O'Leary. Good carry on the ball. Oh, Barton oh. goes back with the ball. Couldn't pick it up. He's given uh, Tate one a little bit too high there. And uh, Tate will go back and get a resulting free kick. So for East Geelong, centre wing, need to get the ball forward, score a goal prior to this uh, half-time siren ringing. Ball goes in long, scrub like can't take the mark. Lewis is there, cleans up, goes back to Fletcher on his wrong side, finds Lima. No 10, so he's asked to play on again by the umpire. Kicks the ball back inside as the siren sounds to end the second quarter here at Richmond Crescent, which will see Bell Post Hill go in 11 goals, 5.71. They will lead East Geelong 6 4 40.